What is up guys, welcome back to another Skater XL video and I hope you guys enjoyed that new intro. There's also gonna be a new outro just to change things up a little bit, but they're made by Vida Franke and I'm probably butchering his name, but I'll leave his Instagram and his website in the description. So go ahead and check that out. He makes some really awesome stuff and I just gotta say thank you so much for making this, my man. It feels really good to renew the channel every once in a while, so I'm super excited about that. I just want to warm up with a back nose blunt. Down the 20s there, even though that's probably not something you hear every day. You just start out with the back lip, then maybe try to get the back nose blunt. Nope. The reason why I want to warm up on this rail is because we're doing another, like, film a skater excel video part episode. And the first trick I'm gonna do is actually on this rail. Oh my god. I can't believe that was that difficult, but it actually looked really sick. I kind of want to film it for the video part. Let's just check it out very quickly. It wasn't what I had in mind. But it looks so good. That turned out okay, but yeah, as I said in the first episode, we're just gathering a bunch of clips for this video part and then we can like pick and choose at the end. But we're about to get a trick here suggested by one of you guys. It's actually a suggestion made by Dono and he wants me to do a nollie backside board slide down the big rail that Niger recently did a crooked grind on. I, of course, want to make it look good. It's, it's a pretty standard trick and you could do it kind of like this. That's how I normally would do it, and I don't think it looks that good anymore. I kind of want... <laughs> wow, Nolly backside blunt slide. Not the best execution, but I kind of want the Nolly to be spun a little bit and then tweaked into it. Kind of like that. I mean, pretty standard trick. Maybe that was actually okay. And then it's gonna be from, like, the same session. So if the other one is gonna be a long lens, then this could be a fisheye angle. It was a bit hard to see the nollie, so maybe we should get a second angle of it. But alright, I guess we got the first trick suggestion by you guys, and I think that was a pretty cool one. So, Dono, you're getting a heart on your comment. And then I also got some requests to implement more heel flips, vero heels, laser heels, or even big heels down gaps, just more variety than just kick flips and tray flips that people do nowadays, get kind of stale. That is a request from Peter N. I don't know why that was so difficult to say, but I think we could try to get a big heel down this. That'd be pretty cool. Or maybe just a barrel heel. Who did that in real life? Reynolds? I remember Yoshi's laser flip, but not a barrel heel flip. Ellington did the hard flip. Pirot with the switch hard, Trevor Colden with the nollie backside flip. He just said heel flip variation, so I guess we could kind of do whatever. And I also want to change up the character a little bit, so it looks more like a real life part. Maybe like blue cap? I don't think I've worn a blue cap yet. Should we also change out the deck? We got the Night Speeds board right now, we also got the Milky board, and Garrett Jenner and Johnny Geiger board, of course, all from Brawl Unit, and I think they look really cool. Maybe a Sour board? I had this one in real life and I thought it was really good, so we'll, we'll get a clip on this. Brawl Unit also made me this custom grip tape, so yeah, we also got that on. And he also made me these custom wheels, the Wax wheels, with my NS merch logo on there, so yeah. Huge thank you to Brawl Unit. Really hooking it up. I think Cody Mackey did the Nolly back heel and Nolly big spin right. Could also get some recreated tricks for the uh, for the video part. Like a Nolly big heel would be cool. Oh, that was that was a Nolly backside heel with like the decoupled board rotations thing. Oh, that was it. But I want to catch it. I just gotta think what foot to do that with. I'm guessing the flip foot, actually. Oh, man. Ah, a little bit under-rotated. Could have tweaked that one out. Yeah, you know what? I think we can make this look pretty good. We'll film it on, like, the standard place to film tricks at the triple set at, which will be right around here. Or should we go with something different? I'm happy we got the clip, but I don't really know if I like it, so we'll try to get like a regular big heel instead. See if that would turn out a bit better. 
That's a pretty good front heal. I haven't done that many big heals in real life. I think I've done a few on a hip, but mostly if it's been on flat ground, it's been like switch. And I think my catching foot for switch big heals and normal big heals are the opposites. As weird as that may sound. Maybe that's better. I'm still unsure about the foot. You know what, I think we're gonna do some more heel flip stuff in this video because I'm not really satisfied with that. Maybe get a line here because that is a pretty famous rail spot. I know it would be really, really insane to do a front shove backside nose grind back 180 out, but we actually got that recommended by Chilled Construct. And he says that would look sweet in a line. I definitely agree. I don't think he had in mind a handrail like this, but I think I'm gonna try to do that and then do a heel flip front side board slide on the bigger rail down here. If it even is a bigger rail. I think it is in real life, but it might not be here in Skater XL. And that is fine. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot that I'm landing switch then, but I think we gotta get the uh, backside revert out if we can do that clean. I think that's gonna be kind of ridiculous, but a switch heel flip to switch back lip coming out to regular, that would be so insane. I've also been asked like what makes a good video part and to be honest, it's very subjective, I guess. I like a lot of variety, so if you have a lot of handrail tricks, they gotta be mixed up. If you got some gap tricks, a good mix of like simple gnarly tricks and then also like some smaller tech tricks. But yeah, it's so subjective. This would be like super, super gnarly. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of speed from this like backside revert out for some reason. Okay, not on this one, that's because it was so glitched. Yeah, I just want to see with a pop out how far that would get us. Oh, second my own board. Let's just review it really quickly. So the front shove nose grind revert out was really, really good. And then just like a standard switch heel flip over. I mean, I guess it was all right. I kind of boned it, caught it with the back foot. Okay, let's film this. I'm not really worried about changing the clothes because I don't know if I'll be using any of the big heels we got in the triple set. Oh no, this is a really bad angle for a nose grind. You can't see the tweak at all. But I don't want this to be a fisheye line. Wow, it's gonna be difficult to find somewhere where we can see the whole trick. Might actually need to be a fisheye line. The problem about these parts is I also want my cameraman to be in like realistic places, but I'm guessing we could be in a room up here in this building. <laughs> I don't really know about all of this. God damn it. I'm not really happy with any of the tricks today, and as someone said in the comments, you can't be a beast every day, I like that. Let's try to get something different. What about a double flip here? I kind of want that to look good though. Try to tweak the feet there. And I think that one turned out okay. And I didn't like that, but maybe we could just like get the nose manual and then cut it see i kind of tried to tuck the back foot in right around here so I, I guess that was pretty clean and then here try to add a little bit of like balancing okay we'll, we'll just film it I'm pretty happy with that line and then to end the video off I did something pretty much without thinking in the last episode at the very end here on this bank I think I did a gazelle flip here and then a nollie heel front nose blunt on this But I think we can clean that up and maybe not do a gazelle flip Or maybe maybe you should just do a gazelle flip But I kind of want to do like a backside 270 flip 
kind of like that and then roll on and then get the nolly heal front nose blunt yeah okay we also need to change up our character again let's get it on the johnny geiger board so here we are ready to try this again I don't know if I like that one, but we'll still try it. Okay, so the bump out doesn't work. I think it's fine with the pop out. But now we at least figured that out. That one is not gonna look good. I crouched down way too early. I don't know about that one. And I definitely don't know about this. That one seemed really good. Ooh, that one was perfect. A little hard flip back 180, I don't know. Yeah, I zoned out when I did the hard flip back 180, but that one was perfect. I love that one. And then... I really like that one as well. I think that went a little too much time here setting up for the trick. Was it even that good? It wasn't because I auto caught it. No, I didn't, but I caught it with the, with the wrong foot. But I love how that one looked. Oh my God, that was beautiful. What about a long lens filmed line? I think that was all right. So I think we got some okay-ish stuff. Things that might be able to get used in the part, just filler material maybe. But I also think we got some okay stuff here towards the end. So yeah, I'm really hyped on this episode. I love this series and I like that you guys are suggesting... I like that you guys are suggesting tricks for this series so that we're kind of in it together. That was a very tough thing to say for some reason. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we'll be watching the very next video and the next episode of this series here on the channel. I don't know. I gotta go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.